warm welcome from here in Udney Green to all you Doric TV viewers. Here I am outside my restaurant Eat on the Green and we've got Jill from Doric TV and we're, I'm going to invite her inside for a wee news. Lots of stories behind these uh, walls and, we'll, and we've even got a wee surprise for you as well Jill. A warm welcome to Eat on the Green. Let's go. Hi Jill, uh, here we are in my restaurant to eat on the green in the northeast of Scotland, an old coaching inn and it has bags and bags of history. It was uh, not, it originally built in 1649 and rebuilt as a coaching inn in 1800. So there are lots and lots of stories to be told. I'm slightly nervous Jill that you're going to ask me tough questions, but I'm a local loon from Inch. I'm happy, very much happy to have you here. We've just recorded our uh, show, a live Facebook show that we've been doing during lockdown. We did show 42 and on today's show, apart from cooking some fine local food, we have also, I also had some local talent singing with us. And I thought as a real treat to you, um, I thought I'd invite her along here. So, before you grill me in my own restaurant, Jill, relax and listen to the delectable Neve Martin, all the way from Ellen in Aberdeenshire, a local quine with a world-class talent. A lot of people say you've either got it or you don't and um, you can't hide passion that was an absolute pleasure and you can sing in this restaurant anytime <laughs> Neve, uh, as you have done before so thank you very very much and i look forward uh, to seeing you in lights well a lot of people ask me because i have met quite a lot of um you know celebrities and people with uh, big names, they say, who would I like to meet again? Well, there's no question. It's uh, my, my lovely dad and his motto was, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing right. He worked for 39 years for a local baker's and I was lucky enough for him to be part of Eat on the Green for the last four and a half years of his life. And he, he didn't just do a job well, he just did it. He fought for the detail and perfection. And I, I guess, when you know, as I get a bit older, I realise that I've got a bit of that. Um, you have to put your mark on things for people to remember you. And uh, you can't fake that. You need to be real and honest. So I, I don't get lost in the fact uh, that I have met some, met, you know, so many people. Probably highlights. Um, yeah, I cooked for Sean Connery's 80th birthday in, in uh, Edinburgh Castle. That was a biggie. Um, uh, I met um, Billy Conley in uh, New York, where he, he was cool, he heckled me a wee bit. 
Um, Camilla was nice and uh, Donald Trump was uh, consistent, uh, how you'd imagine. And I have to say there are just many, many people. The, the, the one lady that walked through the door that I will remember forever is uh, Susan Boyle. And she said, I feel at home and I don't want to go home. And I said, well, you don't have to go home. I said, you'll always be made feel uh, at home here, Susan. And she sang in the, the church just across the green. And she just sang like an angel. I met Twiggy, uh, which I was a wee, bit, uh, a wee bit annoyed that she never actually tasted any of my food, but there's maybe some uh, trust issues there. But uh, yeah, I've been very, very lucky uh, that through my craft, through my cooking, that I have uh, been able to kind of reach out to so many people. Uh, Tony Hadley was just an absolute gentleman, and I am a massive fan of Rod Stewart. And I met him after a charity endeavour. We've, we've raised a huge amount for charity. We are, at this moment, we're just a way to ring the bell at £100,000 for a cancer charity, um, Friends of Anchor. And uh, I cooked in every city in Scotland in one day by helicopter. Uh, and I cooked for my life. It was an amazing day. And the next day I got a phone call. I was still high on life. And I got a call from the charity who said, Craig, you're meeting Rod Stewart this afternoon. And um, yeah, I remember thinking on a Monday morning, I wish somebody would said, how was your weekend? And I would go, yeah, didn't do much. But in actual fact, I'd, I'd cooked around every city in Scotland and met, met Rod Stewart. But um, I think you have to remember the journey. You have to remember the people that help you along the way and keep humble. Look at this, Craig, here. Look at this. What's this? So, a couple of years ago, um, other than Neat on the Green, I started a new company called the Kilted Chef Company and the brand. I was lucky enough to be asked to go and cook in Vietnam, and it was absolutely amazing. It was a five-star hotel, and it was to share my passion for Scotland. And I cooked up there with kind of top Michelin star uh, chefs of the world. And as a, you know, as a Scot, I probably didn't feel worthy but it was, um, I was invited by a Scottish designer and she went, Craig, uh, Asia will love you. So I went and um, again, uh, I said, the rest is history. Um, I've cooked out in Vietnam for um, a couple of weeks. Also kind of a couple of highlights uh, when uh, Lindsay and I, my wife, so through some of uh, the charity work that we did, we got invited to a reception at number 10 I was encouraged... Wait a minute, Craig. Ten? Ten number what? 10. Number it, ten number what? Number ten, Downing Street. And, Don't be uh, modest. Don't be modest. Um, I have to say I was more interested in the shiny uh, door because I based my black door on ten Downing Street. And I've also got my sign. It's exactly the same colour as Harrods in London. So there's, there's, a, there's a story there. When I met Camilla... This is a very true story. Um, they always say, you know, you remember where you were and how you felt when the thing big. I just, uh, my my dad had just uh, came from the hospital and he'd been told that, and, and not so many words, that they, they could no longer do anything for him. And at that point in time, we were trying to raise money for a cancer centre, uh, the Maggie's Cancer Centre in Aberdeen. And uh, of course, you put on the put on the smile, walk into the room. But I never felt more in tune with why we were raising money um, than that day. I was lucky enough to meet her um, a couple of years later, and I told her the story. And um, she was uh, really nice. And she, you know, you're not always meant to ask too many questions, but I did. Um, so I've been lucky. Um, but I have always, uh, Elaine, C. Elaine C. Smith is, we had her painting up here by Gerard as well. Uh, she is just a Scottish icon, uh, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, there's been many, many faces. Uh, but more, more, than, more than that, the people that have came through this door 
our have become friends. Um, they have grew with our, our success. And um, I started 16 years ago, and this was a, a very ordinary Northeast pub with no ambition. And all that I did was have a dream. I'm gobsmacked. Direct TV is absolutely gobsmacked. Here I was thinking I was coming to Eaton the Green to see this kilted chef. My goodness, and this is... I am gobsmacked. <laughs> this young lady is going to go far. And remember, you saw her at Eat in the Green with Craig, but you also saw her in Direct TV. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think it's a Direct TV moment. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Watch out for this young lassie. Neve, tonight was a special night. It was just going to happen. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you were just to take down all the barriers, where are you heading? Oh, completely famous. I want to be famous. I want to get my name out there. And I want my singing voice to just be heard by millions across the world. Well, as they say, you've got to start somewhere. And uh, I'm very, very proud for you to be singing in a place that you sang a few years ago. Yeah. And all that I would say is you've just got better and better. And I, I wish you all the very best. And the only thing that could stop you probably is yourself. So I would encourage yeah. you to be as passionate as you can and share it, share it with the world. <laughs> and I would say on behalf of Doric TV, you've already got it. You've been on TV. You've been on Doric TV. Hi, and we're impressed. <laughs> so the voice, when is it? When is the voice? Um, so I'll find out in September if I've got into 2021 as the voice. Yes, I did. <laughs> So I uh, come from Inch in Aberdeenshire and uh, school didn't really work for me. Um, I, through my grandparents who lived in a country estate, I uh, worked out that food was my passion. So I ran out of the school door and got into a kitchen as quickly as I could. And uh, three years after working really hard in the northeast, I took a risk and I traveled down to the beautiful Persia Hills to follow a dream and follow a passion uh, of cooking in a really, really nice hotel. I kept taking risks, I followed my gut, and I was aiming pretty high. I uh, was head chef of one of the best country house hotels in Scotland at the age of 24, by default, I always say. And um, yeah, I uh, went on to become a new product development chef I moved to England, which made me even more, felt even more Scottish. I, I worked for a Scottish company, Baxter's. I created soups and sauces and all that, that kind of thing. During that time, I um, embarked on a wee bit of a TV career. It gave me the confidence and I thought, I never thought I'd be on uh, morning TV. I was on uh, the Lorraine Kelly show and I came back, laid down my... Um, laid down my papers that I was scribbling on and I said I want to open my own restaurant I resigned from my job sold my house and the, as they say the rest is history um, I, I do passionately believe that the thing that stops most people are themselves so for the last 16 years I have lost myself in my passion of cooking in the most tranquil beautiful village called Udney Green here in the northeast of Scotland and the story goes.
I feel very privileged we're going into this um oh my gosh what is it craig what is this so um a few years ago we had uh, one of scotland's private exclusive champagne bars and with the the downturn um we we needed to shake it up a bit so this is our uh, gin garden we have 70 uh, gins lots of scottish ones uh, we serve uh, scottish tapas and um, yeah, it's not really what you would expect. But again, it's about passion, creativity, and uh, my wife, Lindsay, came up with this idea. And you can relax, enjoy life, and enjoy the Northeast air. Well, I wish Doric TV and all the people that join the community all the very, very best. And you always need somebody to support you right at the very start and the rest will follow. So I hadn't heard of you and you hadn't heard of me. And that's how the world goes round. Jill, it's been a pleasure and I wish you everything you wish for yourself. See you later.